Welcome to segment number 19 of Alex Paris' birthday special, and we're playing Jeopardy for the SNES. Alright, here we go. One daily doubles up there somewhere in one of these categories. We're dealing with baseball, 19th century, island, first, the Lone Ranger, and finally we're dealing with international cuisine. Alright, these are good categories. Um, baseball's 100. The answer is. During the McCarthy era, this team changed its name to Red Legs. Who are the Boston Red Sox? A baseball 200. The answer is. As of 1990, he held the record for the most lifetime hits. Who is Sammy Sosa? No. So $200 is going straight to Wamey Incorporated. Well, let's see if Jim knows this one. No, so another $200 going to Wamey Incorporated. Now they're going to profit $400. We're looking for Pete Rose. Pete Rose. Baseball 300. The answer is... Ballpark institution which seems to have died out with the advent of women's lib. What is... Ladies' Day? There we go. Out of the hole. Baseball for 400. The answer is... As of 1990, the state with five Major League Baseball teams... What is California? Baseball for 500. The answer is... Famed pitcher Denton Young's name was a shortened version of this violent storm. What is a cyclone? That's good for 500, and I'm up to 1100 now. Let's have first for 100, please. The answer is... The Sumerians, not Fred Flintstone, got this rolling around 3500 BC. And Jim locked me out. Oh, but he does not have a clue. What is the wheel? Jim, you're not doing too good so far this game. So let's go ahead and put that $100 that Jim lost in the Wayne Ink Bank. They're now profiting $500 this game. I'll take first for $200, please. The answer is... Appropriately named Comic Strip, which was the first to appear in a newspaper in color. What is the yellow, uh, the yellow kid? Let's go with first for three for three hundred, please. The answer is the first Trans U.S. Highway was completed from New York to here. What is San Francisco? Let's have first for four hundred. The answer is first president to be inaugurated in Washington D.C. To be inaugurated in Washington, D.C. Who is George Washington? No, so I'm giving up $400 to Wayne Inc. Let's see if Jenny can get on the board. Thomas Jefferson. All right. So that gets Jenny $400. Wayne Inc. is now profiting $900 from this game. Here we go. Let's keep going. International cuisine for 100. The answer is... These Chinese dumplings are commonly served in soup or fried as a side dish. What are wontons? International cuisine for 200, please. 
The answer, the answer is. is. Hungarian goulash is traditionally seasoned with this powdered pepper. What is paprika? International cuisine for 300, please. The answer, the answer is. is. Tamales are sometimes steamed in banana leaves, but are usually wrapped in these. What are corn husks? International cuisine for 400. The answer, the answer is. is. This chicken dish made with noodles, cheese, and cream sauce was named for an Italian opera singer. What is chicken tetrazzini? International cuisine for 500, please. The answer, the answer is. is. Served on meat, Maitre D Hotel butter contains salt, pepper, parsley, and this juice. What is lemon juice? That's good for 500. Uh, let's have first for 500, please. The answer is. Dan Golan Paul founded both this first radio quiz show and an almanac of the same name. What is information, please? That's going to put me over $3,000. Hoping to get Alex a bundle this game. Oh, shoot. That's good for 500. Islands 100, please. The answer is. Largest island off Alaska's Pacific coast. The largest bear on Earth lives on and is named after it. What is Kodiak? Islands 200. The answer is. Papuans call this large island home. What is New Guinea? I have islands for 400. For 300, I mean, I'm sorry. Side of heavy world action World War II, the very small island of Corregidor is part of this country. Jim. Oh, he's giving up more money. Jim, how did you even get on the show? We're now giving Wayne Incorporated $1,200. Does Jenny know the answer? The Philippines. Yep. So Jenny is now up to $700. Whammy Inc. is profiting $1,200 now. 19th century, $100. The answer is... Three and a half years after he was buried in New Orleans, Jefferson Davis was reburied in this state capital. Um... What is... I was going to say Annapolis, Maryland, but I'm going to change my answer. What is Richmond, Virginia? Mm-hmm. Good thing I did. 19th century, 200, please. The answer is... In 1882, Charles J. Guiteau was hanged for assassinating this man, who is uh, James Garfield. Let's have the 19th century for 300, please. Do you have a double? I'm out front with $3,900. How much of that do I want to put at risk? I'm going to go for 2100 Ooh, that's a big gamble. It put me at $6,000 if I get it right. Here's the clue in the 19th century. He wrote his first operetta, Prince Ananias, in 1894, 16 years before Naughty Marietta. Who is... Sand. George Sand. No. So I dropped to 1800 It is Victor Herbert. Victor Herbert, but I'm still in the lead. I just took a bit of a hit there, so we'll add the 2100 to the Whammy Incorporated Bank. They're now going to profit $3,300, and I'm going to go to the 19th century for 400 The answer is... This ornate art style featuring flooring, curving lines flourished in the late 1800s. What is Art Nouveau? The 19th century for 500 The answer is... While trying to solve the slavery problem in 1850, he said, I would rather be right than president. Who is Henry Clay? Uh, 
Islands 400. The answer yes, is. European country whose explorers discovered Borneo and the Madeiras about 500 years ago. What is Portugal? Islands 500. The answer is. The island of Inuitwatok and the Bikini Atoll are part of this specific island group. What is Poly? What are the Polynesian or What are the Polynesian islands? No. No. I'm going to change my answer. Yeah, I'm going to change my answer. What are the Marshall Islands? Good thing I did. Lone Ranger 100. The answer is. Horse to whom the ranger yelled, Hiyo, was silver. Two hundred. The answer is. The radio series began in 1933 on WXYZ in this Michigan city. What is Detroit? Three hundred. The answer is. After the 1981 movie, TV's Clayton Moore was forbidden by the court to wear this. What is a mask? Oh, I did not get to put the K. Ugh. Dang it. It's a mask and Jim finally gets a correct response. So not only do I have 3600, that's how much Whammy Incorporated is going to get. 400. The answer is. Source of the Lone Ranger's income and ammunition. What's a silver mine? Now the last clue. The answer is. Modern mask hero, Britt Reed, great nephew of the Lone Ranger, John Reed. Uh, who is the Green Hornet? So I have $4,500, Jenny has $700, and Jim has minus $300. So he's going to go first in double jeopardy. So far, Jim has only given one correct response to this game, this round, or this game, rather. Here we go, double jeopardy time. Two daily doubles up there, somewhere in these categories. Political quotes, kings and queens, composers, bodies of water, famous cows, and finally, G whiz. What's the letter G in quote? Some marks. Jim, you're in last place. We'll start with you. Kings and Queens, 200. Yeah, Hers was the longest reign in English history. Who's Queen Victoria? Kings and Queens for 400. The yeah, answer is. To learn about building a navy, this great czar worked as a ship carpenter in Holland. Who's Peter the Great? Let's have a uh, Kings and Queens 600, please. The answer is. Louis the 18th became king of France after this ruler's exile in 1814. Who's Napoleon? Take kings and queens for 800, please. The answer is. James II fled England in the Glorious Revolution of 1688 and they became joint sovereigns. Who are William and Mary? Kings and queens for 1,000. The answer is. Illiterate himself, this great Frankish ruler founded a palace school and attended it with his children. 
Oh, and Jim locked me out. Charlemagne. All right. It's good for a thousand, Jim. You're up to seven hundred dollars, and you're tied with Jenny for second place. Where to? Composers, two hundred. The yeah, answer is. First held in 1876, the Bayreuth Festival was planned by this German composer to play his own works. Jim. Richard Wagner. Okay, that wasn't my guess. Thank God. Now he takes second place to himself. Famous Cows, 200. Yeah, Her cow is said to have started the Great Chicago Fire. Who's Mrs. O'Leary? Famous Cows 400. The yeah, answer is. Wife of Elmer, she's the Borden cow. Who's Elsie? Famous Cow 600. The yeah, answer yeah, is. The emotional state of the Carnation Company's cows. What is contented? Famous cows for 800, please. The yeah, answer is. Buried were named for Guernsey and for this other Channel Island where they were developed. What is Jersey? I'll take famous cows for 1,000, please. The yeah, answer is. Cow seen in Mickey Mouse cartoons who shares her name with a male Howdy Doody character, who's Clarabelle. That's good for a thousand, up to ninety-five hundred dollars. Composers for four hundred. Yeah, Desiring a teacher, Gershwin sought out this composer, Bolero, who told him he didn't need one. Who is Ravel? Composers for six hundred. Yeah, yeah, Written in seventeen twenty-three, this German's Magnificat in D major is magnificent. Jenny. Johann Sebastian Bach. All right. G Wiz 200. The answer is. It can follow Maurice, Robin, or Barry. What is Gib? G Wiz 400. The answer is. Term for a present participle used as a noun, such as asking and answering. It's a gerund. Oh, right. Gerund. All right. So you're up to thirteen hundred dollars, Jim. You're tied with Jenny for second place. Where are we going? Bodies of water, two hundred. The yeah, answer yeah, yeah, yeah. is the Su the Susquehanna, Rappahannock, and Potomac all fall into this bay. Oh. And Jim locked me out again. Chesapeake Bay. I knew that one. Now he takes second place to himself. He's at fifteen hundred dollars. Where are we going, Jim? Political quotes two hundred. The answer is. He introduced himself as the man who accompanied Jacqueline Kennedy to Paris. Who is John F. Kennedy? Political quotes four hundred. The answer is. He said, if nominated, I will not run. If elected, I will not serve. Jenny? William Tecumseh Sherman. All right. You're up to 1,700, Jenny, and you get to go again. Where are we going? Bodies of water for 400. The yeah, yeah, yeah. The only Great Lake lying completely in the U.S. <sighs> Jim locked me out. Cannot seem to get in on the buzzer. Lake Michigan. Yep. You're up to 1,900, Jim, and in second place. Go again. Political quote 600. The answer yeah, is. In the 1980 election, he coined the phrase voodoo economics. Uh, who is Ronald Reagan?
No. So I'd lose $600 for that incorrect response. Alright. It's George Bush. Oh. Foop. So I'll say it again. Foop. Alright. Political quotes 800. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask the tongue vice president who said some newspapers dispose of their garbage by printing it. Um. Ask the tongue. I have it between two of them. I'm going to say who is Spiro Agnew. He's the one. Political quotes 1,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Presidential candidate who said eggheads unite. You have nothing to lose but your yolks. Who's Adlai Stevenson? That's good for a thousand. Bodies of water for 600, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Gaza Strip lies along this body of water. What is the Mediterranean Sea? Bodies of water, 800. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Chagres River supplies the water for the locks of this canal. And Jim locked me out again. Oh, but he does not have any idea. Come on, get me in on the buzzer. No, Jen, Jenny got me to the buzzer. It is the Panama Canal. At this point, Whammy Incorporated is now profiting $5,000. Here we go. G whiz for 600. And there's one of the two daily doubles. And Jenny is going 2100. Here's the clue. This 20th century German psychology states that the whole experience is greater than the sum of its parts, and it's just Dalt. She's at $5,200. Now we're two. Bodies of water, a thousand. There's the other daily double. How much? Thirty-two hundred. Here's the clue in bodies of water. The two straits separating Asia from European Turkey are the Bosporus and this, and it's the Dardanelles. So now Jenny's within striking distance. Four clues left. Where are we going? Composer's eight hundred. Composer of the Firebird and Petrushka. Cannot catch a break. Igor Stravinsky. Composer for a thousand. He composed Faust in 1869. The Vatican and in 1860 he composed Faust in 1869. The Vatican's national anthem. Charles Gounod. Mm-hmm. Good for a thousand, Jim, and you have twenty nine hundred. Go again. The end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A rapid slide through a series of consecutive tones on a piano or trombone, for example. Oh, Lissando. Now the last clue. The end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Okapi belongs to this family. What are gherkins? No. So I lose thousand dollars for that incorrect response. Let's see if Jenny knows this any better than I do. Giraffes. Yeah, so she's at $9,400. Jim has $3,700 and I have 11100 So it's anybody's game. Final Jeopardy is about to commence. Final Jeopardy category is lyrics. So if Jenny gets it right, she goes to 18,800 if she were to go all in. So I'm going to go 7,701 and I'm going to lock that in now. Sitcom whose theme song begins, Making It Rain in the World Today takes everything you've got. Sitcom 
So Alex is going to profit eighteen thousand eight hundred one dollars. Jenny's orange is fifty four hundred. Let's see if Wemmy Incorporated will profit any more money. It's Cheers. I should know. I used to watch Cheers and I still watch Cheers. Jim, did you come up with Cheers? Yes, you did. So, you'll double your money to $7,400. Jenny, did you come up with Cheers? Yes, so you're at $14,800. I also said, what is Cheers? Put me at $18,801 and I win the game. See you all for that next segment, everybody.